Where is Jacob the ox? It is Jacob the ox. Several months later. Jacob, don't leave us. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, man, have you lost your carrots? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Manor Lords. Here we are in the city of Zwei. Zwei. Zwei I don't know how to pronounce it at all, but that, that's the name we're sticking with because it's the name that we started our little town. Not even a town. It's a village, isn't it? Look at the size of it. What have we done so far? We accomplished so much they started to say something there as i zoomed out what are they building let's just take a look if you let me uh, thank you very much communal oven oh yeah so we can cook our bread when that gets ready let's have a look at that oh nice little pizza oven in there all sorts of stuff going on so we have to get somebody to do that job which we can't do at the moment so yeah we're going to pause that and we are also going to pause our trusty windmill because we don't need that yet because it's September. Um, October, November, and then December's winter. Okay, that's fine. Like it is in the real world. How's our field doing over here? They planted sowing. Oh, have we missed the sowing? I think we have. Sowing crop. Oh, September to November. No, so they might start sowing. That's good. Um, do we have a family in here? We do. Let's hope that they get on with that. That would be great. We do have four empty burgages over here for families to move into. But I really want to tap into the mine that's up over here. It's a normal iron deposit. Let's just zoom in and take a look at that. There we go. And we can pop something on there. Um, let's construct. I think that's this one here. The mining pit. Yeah. Um, does that connect to a road any particular direction? It doesn't. I mean, I think that is literally it. Yeah, there we go. That is our mining pit. Uh, we've got a path that comes up here. So maybe we could just sort of add a little road. Let's come up through the trees. Maybe wind that up there. Like that. So they can get nice and close. Uh, are they going to want to go in the front entrance? Or is that okay? Do you know what? I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to bring it to there. There's the front entrance. We'll build that. Maybe lose a couple of trees along the way. Excellent. So this is going to start getting uh, tin and stuff for us, but it, or whatever. I'm not quite sure. Iron, tin. Oh, auto save. Something along those lines. Uh, we'll have to find out. But first of all, they're going to have to drag the log that's needed to build this thing. All the way up this path. From all the way down here. Where is Jacob the ox? It is Jacob the Ox. What are you doing, Jacob? Transporting timber with Gerhors. Gerhors, you are a star. Well, if you could get that done for us, that would be great. And then we've hopefully got a spare family that we can assign there. Oh, look, they're going out to build it as well. Very good. Yeah, that's fine. And then, oh, here comes Jacob up the path. And then we can start trading some of the goods that we've made to hopefully make some more money. There we go. Drop that right in there. Here's some builders. Very handy, very handy. Thank you for walking over here in the mud and the rain to put this thing together. And it's up. I think that's it. Yeah, excellent. Okay, so let us assign somebody here. Who can we assign to our iron pit? I mean, whoever ends up coming over here, it's going to be... Do, 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 Viet, Albreet, and Grethlin. They were almost here already. Um, I am wondering about putting a house over here for them, but they're still going to have to come all the way down here for food. So I'm not quite sure how this is going to work. Maybe we will put one little house over here. Let, let's do that. Um, and just see whether that makes a huge difference. So here we go. Burgage level one. I'm going to put it here. And I want it to literally be, plot too small, one house. So we'll go like that. Plot too small. Okay, come on now. Come on now. If we go like that. Plot too small. I'll get it. I'll get it. We're going to go back a bit further. Like that. Plot too small. What the heck? What am I missing? Surely the plot can't be too small. Okay, let's try again. Oh, oh, that's too many houses. Ah, oh, there we go. Right, if you've not seen this before, see the little plus house that appears on there? 
that means that as well as the house that you can build in here oh if we go there there we go we can add um i want to turn that around that way oh okay we'll do it that way and we'll put a path up there so you can add an extra addition to your house that will allow someone there we go to come and stay with them to sort of extend the family get the family a little bit bigger we're going to pop a little path down to there very good very good sounds like they're already working away down here i'm hoping that when this house is in that they will automatically we've got no timber they will automatically move here and live here I don't know whether it will work like that or not. We'll have to find out. Right, let's have a quick look at what's happening with our timber. That's our foraging hut. Here we go, logging camp. Well, no one's there, and we don't have enough families now. Darn it. Um, where can I take somebody off of something? I think the forester is done. They've planted their area. So we're going to pop you in there. I'm going to have to do a bit of switchy-switchy <laughs> to keep things going and hopefully manage that yeah and see how that goes um we could also still looking at the money still only 35 how are these carrots doing out the back here i mean there's no way of telling whether they've grown yet or not i think they take as long as stuff in the fields more or less so we'll have to sort of wait you finished your boat the boat has gone it was who was it that was making the boat it was uh Oh, we've got, has somebody died and someone else has taken over the job? We've now got Herman. That was who it was. Herman's down the market peddling his wares. There's Herman. Well done, Herman, on finishing the boat. That's very nice. Uh, okay, yeah. So, if we can get a trader set up, that would be good. Uh, let me just speed the game up so we can get some items in. So, we've got a livestock trading post. Um, which again we're going to need a family for that and then we've got a trading post which basically is trading for all sorts of other goods in the map and what i'd like to do is sell my stuff um which will be good another family moved in that's what we want to see keep on doing it keep on doing it so i want to sell my goods that i'm making so i'm thinking let's have a look at this line of stuff here and see what we can make with the items that we're going to be getting for my iron so we can turn iron ore into iron slabs, which will be good. We can then turn iron slabs into tools. Um, mo must be refueled once per month. I'm guessing that's just the, the building, the smithy. Turn clay into clay tiles, barley into malt for the malt house, hides into leather, wool to yarn and flax, and berries into dye. So I'm thinking it's this one here, the bloomery that we really need to get started on first so to try and sort of help with what's going on oh actually let's just see have they moved in here who's in here residing family zero expand living space oh that was that thing i was saying about adding more there hmm it's a shame you can't assign a particular family to a burgage plot that would make sense so ones nearby would work there i mean yeah, we're going to have to just sort of leave the game to work that out on his own. So we won't build another house. That's what I was getting to. So what we will do is put the bloomery here. I'm going to put that right opposite here in the trees. There we go. Excellent. Winter is approaching. Let's slow things down a minute and just take stock of what that is going to mean for us. So this will get built. It's going to take two logs. We have eight timber, so that's fine. Hopefully, we'll get a family come and move over here. I would like to really stock up on our fuel. We've got fuel for seven months. Winter is going to last December, January, February, three months. But I'm wondering whether we just really need to get our fuel, which is one of these. That's the planks. That's the logs. That's the thing. Where is it gone? I know it's here somewhere. I clicked on it already. The woodcutter's lodge. I'm going to add another family in here as we had two spare. I'd like to get them on digging, but I'm going to get them just to go all out on making as much firewood as possible. Now, this is generic storage for that is the woodcutter's lodge. But don't we have the ability to store that in one of these items here? The storehouse. So we are getting firewood stored over here. Okay, but I'm guessing it probably needs to be moved over. And, yeah, that's going to take people to do that, isn't it? Um, is there any other options in here? No. Okay. I know in here as well in the storehouse, I believe... 
oh yeah we've got nobody in here to actually they need people to bring the items over don't they so that might be a bit of a bottleneck is we're filling up this and it's not emptying until people come and take it to their houses because houses have their own storage as well the burgages we look into here general refuel general yeah they're not really storing much in there but they do have their own storage but yeah we'd need somebody in here to move them over okay uh i don't upgrade it i think there's a way of yeah we can say what is stored in here and what isn't stored in here because what i was gonna do oh a new family moved in a new family moved in you are gonna do this for me do this do this do this i was gonna turn off from here the it's down here somewhere the iron slabs yep let's go along hides leather wooden parts linen charcoal iron ore that's gonna go off as well yeah because i'm then gonna put a storehouse am i gonna put a storehouse up here let's just see what the story situation is so the pit can store 50 anyway uh, burgage plot yeah don't mean to click on that i was clicking on this I don't know what that's going to do. Let's go to high. I'm assuming that will have some of its own storage. And then once it's made those items, the slabs, then actually, yeah, they will need to go somewhere. Let's see what happens when that's made and whether we do need another little storage over here or not. If we can keep it all local, that will be good. Has somebody moved in here? No, they're moving into town. It's a shame it's so far, but... Yeah, there's not much we can do about that at the moment. But at least we've got people moving in. At least our approval is up to 55%. Nobody's homeless. We're not making any money yet. I want to grow those carrots quicker. I'm just wondering whether we could just add another one of these on here. Apple orchard, we can't do goats. Can't do any of these. No, until we've got the relevant items. For 25 yeah, I just don't want to spend the money. I don't want to spend the money just in case until I know how it works. So we'll hang fire on that. How are we doing? Still fuel for seven months. Are you bringing over more? I think you are. We've got 39 here now. Here comes the hand cart. Let's just see what gets added. 50. Nice one. Okay, so we're learning how that works. You're doing well. Woodcutter's Lodge. Yep. Something going down. Excellent. Yeah, keep that going. Keep that going. Ready for the winter. Just thinking about this burgage over here uh, by the mine. It does actually have still access to water, even though that's all the way over in town. And the food stall supply, fuel stall supply, for some reason it doesn't, which is odd because I took a long way around to get there. Construction finished bloomery. Fantastic. We have firewood. So why has it got access to this one, but not that one? That is a little bit odd. I don't know. Um, what I am going to do, maybe, is just add in a little bit more roadway around here. Just to, There we go. Make it look a little bit more like a market. Maybe that will help. I don't know. We'll find out. The bloomery. The bloomery. Let's, let's see this first. Uh... Food stall two. Yeah, still not with that one. Yeah, we'll see what happens with that. We'll see what happens. The bloomery is in. Right, okay. So as we've established, they can hold up to 50 iron ore. This requires refueling. Fuel reserve. So this will be, again... Um, I think that is two to keep in here. That will store 50 as well. Obviously, it needs people. We need somebody to move in. Okay, generic storage. So I'm assuming then it will just take these in and it will store up to 50 planks, which will be good. Fuel reserves. I'm going to keep two in there just so, because it's such a long way to walk. Is that somebody moved in? Some resources disappear, it's getting cold and reappear again in the spring. Yeah, that's fine. So which one is this that's full? Oh, this is the saw pit still. Log storage. Yeah, that shouldn't pop up every time there's just one log in there. That's fine. We know that they need one log to do their job. Okay, so... Oh, we've got another family. Another family, another family. You are going to be bloomers. Bloomerias. You're going to be working over here. There we go. And they're getting fuel supplies and transporting them over. Ooh, a show workplace. Reassigned family to a different workplace. Oh! So we could, if we get somebody in here... 
reassign and move them that way. I will keep that in mind. I think at the minute, we're doing all right. What have we got? Nine months of fuel, 22 months of food, and the winter is setting in. Oh man, look at that. Look at that. Things are going to start getting tough. So we need to keep an eye on what everybody's doing, how everything's going. So have we basically just ruined our field of stuff? <laughs> our field of wheat? No, it's fine. Sowing was done. Growing. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work, is it? Because growing, if we look on here, crops grow in the summer. So I think they're all going to die off. And then it's going to start again in the full new year. We just didn't have enough time before, did we? I'm really hoping that is the case. 60% approval. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, man, have you lost your carrots? I think we've lost the carrots. We haven't got the money. Darn it. Mm, okay. Right, so let's talk about uh, increasing our houses up a level, which I think, again, can help attract people to the village. So these things here, if we want to get up from level one to level two, we need to fill in all of these. So a church is needed next, and then the clothing stall supply. Work area is empty. What's that? The forager's hut. Oh, is that not... Right, okay, that's going to get paused. So does that free up a family? It does. So there's nowhere to work in the winter there. This hasn't come up as being a problem so i'm thinking we're going to leave them in there i don't want to cause any issues and then we've got a spare family i'm going to pop them in the granary so they can set up a food stall oh there we go a third food stall you'll not find finer wares anywhere else so we've got a firewood stall a firewood stall and a food stall Okay, I don't know why we've got another firewood stall. Is that because in here was firewood? No, I don't know. We'll just... It's early access. Don't worry about it. I think we're going to get through the winter okay, but maybe a little bit of juggling as time goes along. Bloomery, how are you doing? Oh, six iron slabs. Fantastic. So, let's have a look at this. Is there anything else we can add onto this building? No, there isn't. That's something I want to keep an eye on. So what can we do then with those slabs? Well, next we need a smithy. So that is also going to go up here. That is going to go right next door as close as possible. Excellent. That is going to need two of uh, our timber, which we have. And also, I've noticed, if we just come out of the building thing... Whoa, wrong button. Uh, oh, 200 food. Oh, we've got 120 planks. That is more planks than we can shake a stick at. Um, so you're the logging camp. I need to try and recognize these. <laughs> but looking at the top of them, we're going to pause the saw pit because we don't need any more planks. So that's going to free up another family, which is good because what we can build with our planks, if we go into here, is... Here we go. A wooden church, which needs five logs, 20 planks. Ah, oh, 10 stone. Okay, we don't have stone. I was going to build that because that is another one of the requirements on our burgage plots. So we need to fill that and then the clothing. Well, why don't we get mining the stone, which again isn't too far away. And hopefully with our spare family, uh, we'll be able to do that. So let's jump into here. Stonecutter camp. Where's the door? Doesn't look like there's a door particularly. You've got four entrances into that. I'm going to get it as close as possible down here. Like that. And see how that goes. And then we'll cut into there. And we'll just sort of curve that round to there. That'll do. Excellent. So we'll just get some generic stone from there. And again, they're going to want to carry that all the way down here. Which, at the minute... I think I'm just going to leave them to do it and see how it goes. 
I am also wondering whether adding in like a little path around here to sneak in the side to there. Just to give another way across if anybody wants to do that. And then we'll see how that goes. See if that helps. Okay, who's coming to build this? I can see them. Is it you? Is it you? No, it's not you. What about these people down here? Oh, we've got... Hang on. It's going to be Jacob, isn't it? What do we need? We need two logs. Jacob, you missed the path. Transporting timber. Could you not bring it up here? Jacob. Jacob, don't leave us. Oh, they're using that path. Jacob's gone back for another one. I think Jacob was transporting that over here, weren't they? Yep, the smithy that was under construction. Completely forgot about that. Yeah, there we go. Um, so we're going to be short a family again, unless another family moves in anytime soon, because we can't man both of those. But I'm wondering whether we could just do these first and then get some sort of tools in stock and try and do a little bit of trading to get some more uh, funds, some more regional wealth. I think that'll be a good idea. Whoops. Clicked on the wrong thing. Oh, clicking on the wrong things again. Look away. Don't worry. Family members have joined. Excellent. Extra family. We are doing well. Ooh, disease. People suffering from disease must stop working. Access to herbs, do you mind, might speed up their recovery. While a varied diet increases disease resistance. We do not have a varied diet at the moment. We should have access to herbs. Did I not add a herb garden? I thought I did, but we didn't. It's 25 money. Am I going to regret it? I've added it. And I know this is paused. So that's now going to take one of our families back there. Will they forage for herbs? Oh, it's all bricked. That works in here is sick. No. Okay, hopefully they'll forage for herbs in that area. Who's this? Who's this? Oh, it's like a wandering trader or something. It is. Where are you going? I wonder if I could... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hello, good fellow. Let's run. Can I follow this wandering trader? Oh, man, my pointy boots are going to get stuck in the snow. Hi, how you doing? Oh, yeah, this is definitely a trader. Look at all the stuff he's got on his back. How's my beard today? Is it looking fantastic? It is looking epically fantastic. I don't know where he's going, but I think now we know the trader comes oh excuse me looking at me beard now we know the trader comes from down there we can definitely whoa build our trading thing sorry if you get motion sickness up here somewhere that would be a good idea so why don't we we've got this little spot as like a storage area we could maybe try and get that going trading post how big is that bigger than i thought it could fit in there and that is nearby. If they walk, I'm assuming it doesn't need to be right by where they walk. That would just be silly. But let's pop that in there. So that's going to take four logs. We've got 27 timber. Nice. Okay. Um, what, what I tell you, I will feast my eyes on your goods. When I'm good and ready, my good man, what I'm hoping to do is trade my tools once we've made them for another ox. Because at the minute, this poor Jacob here, I mean, I'm assuming he's never going to die. But he's got so much going on, dragging timber all over the place. Oh, 61%. Nice. That, yeah, that could be a bit of an issue moving forward as we expand. And I know some of these buildings, you can actually attach um, their own... Yeah, not that one. Some of them, anyway. You can actually attach their own oxen to them. But we'll see. Right, Smithy, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, we can get someone there. I'm going to keep two. Uh, we're going to have Andre, Jacob, uh, named after the local ox, because everyone loves Jacob, and Alihet, whatever their name is, and that's all it says. So they're going to just start making some stuff. Anyone moved into our burgage over here? Yes, Fritz, Kunrad, and Agnes. What are they doing? They're unassigned. I wonder if, if I do that, Select a new workplace, reassign the family. Oh! Right, okay. And then can I... So, which family is that? Are they the first or the last? Because I'm going to now take one out of here. And is that the people in here that we want? What were their names again? I've completely forgotten. Fritz, Conrad... Okay, no. We're going to take them out. 
Now we know. And I bet you've all been putting comments because you would have watched other people's videos. Look at that. Yes. And gone. Oh, I know what we're doing. So now we want this family and this family up here as well. We need more houses up here so they don't have to travel so far. Oh, my goodness me. Let's get two. Okay, we'll just keep going with that. Let's get two burgage plots in here. Oh, my goodness me. I just realized what the time is. Got to go and pick up the kids from school. I will be back uh, momentarily. That is three houses. Yep, go on then. Build it. Have fun. Back in a sec. Back. Glad I didn't forget the children. That would not have been good. Right, so we've got plenty of timber. So this is going to get done. I've only got one family that's doing it at the moment. So let's get that up. And then we can move the families over here for the bloomery and the mining pit. And even for the stonecutter camp. When that's made, um, whoa, that was a bit of a jump. I don't know what's going on there. Um, I'm not sure whether I really need to worry too much about moving the people around in here because they're all pretty close together anyway. They're all near to town. I mean, you could probably micromanage that a little bit, but I think we're fine. Fuel for 11 months. You guys are absolutely... Yep, we're going to take... Oh, that's why I've got two fuel marketplace stalls. You're going to disappear in a minute. Yeah, excellent. So now we've got a spare person to help with all of the building. Just thought it suddenly like it was falling down. Just not as much snow on these houses. Maybe they're warmer. Oh, I wonder if that's the thing. Let's have a look in here. So that one's refueled. Let's have a look at this one. That one's refueled. What about this one? That one's refueled. Okay, it's just a visual thing, just to mix it up a bit. I don't mind that at all. Let's have another zoom over here. Thank you for cutting the trees down. Oh, getting some traffic on the roads here. Here we go. Brilliant. Well, I'm just thinking, how are we going to do this? Because this family was already here, and I reassigned them. But you can't reassign people to different houses, I don't think. Um, let's see. Let's. So that is reassigned family to different workplace. Show workplace. So if I grab them... And try and click on a house under construction. Invalid. Oh, is this not finished? That one's finished. Let's just try that again. But I don't think that's how it works. So I think you need them to move into the house. And then reassign them to the job next to it. So, invalid assignment. Yeah. Darn it. Okay. Well, that's going to be difficult, isn't it? Because... We've basically got to wait for them to move in. And there's no way I can see of pausing a house or kicking... I mean, we could demolish the house and do it that way. But that just seems like a... I might just demolish one or two just to see how that works. Because we've never done it before. And see whether we get the goods back or not. Yeah, I'll do that in a minute. We'll just see how things go once these are built. See if we can attract anybody in. And then we'll do a bit of testing, because like we said before, we are learning. We are learning. How's the bloomery going? Or the smith smithy iron slab. Tools. We've got 18 tools. Excellent. That's good. So then if we come all the way back over here, how is the trading post going? I'm going to up that and see if we can just get this thing finished quickly. There we go. Looks like it's done. Let's check this thing out. Oh, still under construction. Darn it. You tricked me. I thought it was all finished. I think we're nearly there. Last couple of slabs in. Obviously, some other, other little building going up. I love this building animation where you get a little bit at a time. Hey, bring that piece over here. There we go. Fantastic. Is that done? I think we're done. We are done. Right. Okay. So... We can uh, get people in here, which makes sense. Let's get one person in here. A family, I should say. Uh, advanced, connect to the local network. Permanent livestock assignment. We don't have any spare livestock. So I don't want to put Jacob in here. I'm going to leave Jacob alone. What do we want to trade? Right, okay. Let's just have a look at this. Okay, well, yeah. I don't think we're going to be able to do exactly what we need to do. So with stone, we can establish a trade route for six wealth. Well, we've got 10 wealth, because you know that we've spent some recently. Um, or 7 for trading planks, which we do have a lot of. Uh, export price, import price. So we get 2 per plank, 1 per plank. Roof tiles and blacks. Oh, blocks. <laughs> uh, roof tiles and blocks over here got a higher price. We've got food, they're worth 2 each. 
Um, what was that? No crops, beg your pardon. Food, we've got various prices there. Materials, I want to see what the highest priced item is. We've got six for leather is the highest so far. Commodities, all oh, we're up into. So six for tools, okay. Eight for cloaks and shoes. We haven't gone down the clothing route yet. And then we've got all sorts of military items. Plate armor and stuff is eight as well, is the highest there. So really clothes is the one we want to have a look at, as in these clothes, not those clothes, but tools. But to establish that trade route takes 36. Man. So we need to just establish a trade route with these items. And I think because we've got so many planks and they're worth two, we're going to do this one. So it says, after paying to establish a trade route, a dedicated traveling merchant, we've seen those, will regularly visit your region to trade only this specific type of good. So we're going to do that. We are going to establish a trade route for planks. Oh, and this now it's gone up in price. These other ones. Oh, man, alive. So if we go back to tools, it's now 72. What? But at least, at least now we've got money coming in can i click on that and see i think that's like they're on their way so then desired surplus a lot because the trade route is set to no trade okay export yeah desired surplus so if we say we want a surplus of oh, hopefully i'm going to be reading this right current surplus 100 we want a uh, 120 we want to keep a surplus of 100 so that means we would trade 20 they're worth two each, so we'd get 40 gold. That, to me, seems like that's how it is. If I do 80, that'll give us a surplus of 40. Uh, that'll give us 40 that we can trade, which will give us 80 gold, because they're worth two each. And then that will hopefully then give us enough, which it will, 72. So then we can trade our tools for six. Right, that's the plan. We're going to... If I pin that... No, if I pin it, or if you move it, it auto pins. So if I leave that there, it's pretty big, isn't it? Is there any way to make this window smaller? No. So we're going to have to keep our eye out. Oh, we're getting into March. Oh, okay. So what's happening here? March frequent raining, seasonal deposits regrow. Okay, excellent. Well, we're okay on foodstuffs at the moment. So I think what we'll do... Oh, we do have this person in here anyway, so they're going to be grabbing those for us. Could we trade food as well? Uh, trade. A new family moved in. Perfect. That is what we want. Hopefully they moved in where we want them to. Uh, food. So berries are three. And that's 36. Okay, well we're not setting up. People are getting more people moving in. Family members joining. Setting up a food store. Construction. Cool. Everything's going to plan. Right. Oh, and they've moved into one of these houses over here. So... That is good. So we've got these people here. Where do they work? They are unassigned. So um, we want to assign them to one of these here. Why don't we assign them to the mining pit? Welcome. Come and work in the mines. There we go. Excellent. Oh, we need to take them all out first, don't we? That's why we need to do it. And then we need to go in here, unassigned to the mines. Excellent. And there'll be living man here. Uh, Lion, yeah. Okay, and then we'll go into here. Yep. Excellent. Kunz, Lorenz, and Alhay are miners. Brilliant. And then these ones here are blacksmiths, which are nearby. And then if we get anybody moving to here or here, yes, we can then make them uh, smithies and bloomers. I'm assuming that's what the name would be. Excellent. And then we've got this uh, stone cutter camp over here. How are you doing? There's no one working there. Well, that's not going to get us any stone, is it? We do have a spare family. So let's do that. Uh, which one's a full? Genetic storage full. Is that this one? No, it's not that one. Is that this one? It is. Our storehouse is full. Oh, okay. Um, I feel like then... We need to advance our storehouse. Five timber and ten planks. What have we got? We've got plenty. Let's do that then. So is it going to make it look bigger or just increase the... There's like a couple of carts there now. A little bit more space. I think that will do. And Can we get more people working here or anything? Oh, we've increased it. Is it in progress of being increased? It is in progress of being increased. There we go. I've got to watch it. I love it. I love it. 
Oh man, this is going to be. Oh, look at this. This is a hefty establishment. And there's definitely more carts available as well, which is good. Come on. Finish the work in. Oh, and I think we're done. Under construction. You fool me every time. Storage is full. Stonecutters camp. Really? There was nobody working there two minutes ago. How's it suddenly full? Is it like a whole month has passed or something? Oh, new family moving in. Family members joining. It's done. Excellent. Large storehouse. So I think we can have more people, but we've got 2,500. Uh, what's that? Log piece transitionary resources. Oh, okay, fine. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Excellent. Well, we're going to leave that as it is, which is good. Let's have a look at the stone doodab. Stonecutter's camp. Oh, wow. Okay. You are, like, super full. Um, well... I mean, we don't need a huge amount of stone, and the reason we were getting the stone is because we were going to build a church, weren't we? There we go, a wooden church. Yeah, 5, 20, and 10. We've got the timber, the planks, and the stone. Well, let's put this in then. And in these sort of times, medieval times, this would be like the centre of the community, wouldn't it? Oh, autosave. I'll have a quick sip of tea. So let's maybe see where we can make it. So we've got the sort of the market and the storage area here. Just wondered if we could pop it up against this road, that would be good. Can I delete roads that have already been placed? Now, there's a question. Remove road, alt, left click. Remove this road? I can. Remove that road? Well, I can do that as well. Excellent. So, we're going to pop that right in the middle over here. Bursting with flavour. We're going to get that one. What the heck is going on? What is this? Oh, I've accidentally clicked it. Well, okay, that's where it's going to go. <laughs> I didn't realise we were there. And we're going to have that through to there, which is basically what I was going to do anyway. And then, I don't know where that other path was leading to. We've got clay. Yeah, everybody else is okay. So we'll get this done. Fantastic. And we've got more people moving in. So let's go and check over here whether it was one of these houses so we can start helping them get to it was. Okay. So you're transporting, you're sick, flattening ground, but you're unassigned. Okay. Yes, we've already got these. It said blacksmith. It confused me. It says blacksmith there, but that's the smithy, obviously. So that one's taken care of. This one's taken care of. It's this one here. So if we kick you out of your job and then you... I'm going to be unassigned to the Bloomery. There we go. Excellent. So thank you very much for moving in here and helping us with that. Who have we got in here? Fordlin, Bartholmes, and Agnes. Agnes. Who would ever knew that that would be the most normal name out of all of them? But now that is all of these three live in here with one spare house, which will eventually become uh, the people that work over at the Stonecutter Camp. That would be good. And we've got two spare. Oh, we're getting a hang of this. So hopefully that will help us get more of those goods quicker. Market stall's going well. Any news on the trading? Let's have a look what's going on. Oh, follow merchant. Here he comes. If I close that, will it still follow? It will. Here comes the merchant. Let's follow this person. Oh, we lost them. They've left. No. Come back. We need you. Ah, oh, they've gone off the border. They didn't stop. Unless. Have I missed it and they've already paid us? Core blind McGovern the striker light. They've already paid us. I didn't even realise. Right, okay. So now we've got 67. I feel like he didn't take all of our goods. Because we've probably used some stuff up. I, there's some maths involved here. 58. Yeah, we've used some. We wanted to be left with 80. So if I need to put this a little bit lower. 2.8 to 16. That'll probably get us enough. Oh, darn it. I'm going to put this down to 50. And then whatever over 50 will sell. Is there another merchant? Nah, they've gone. Okay, well, we're nearly there. 67. We needed, what was it, 72 or something. Uh, in here, 72. Then we can start trading tools for the money. That'll be good. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. It's done. Look at that. Look at that. The center of the community. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. Fantastic. Let's check out what options and things it's got on here. Oh, I just saw that. Church bell sound. So we've got... Okay. Oh, that's like a rusty bell. I feel like I can make a song. <laughs> okay, maybe not. That's like you're hitting a saucepan. Yeah, we'll stick with that one. Okay, people. We've got nobody assigned here yet. Uh, and it's connected to the road network. We have another family that's moved in. You are going to work here. Although, I bet you've moved... Oh, we may. I bet you've moved in from up here. I just want to... I'm getting distracted. There's so many things going on now. I want to check out. This is all going on. So, oh, harvest. So, is there actually stuff in here? Yield 40... Days left to harvest, 117 days. And we've got a family in here. And this looks like it's ready to go. Oh, crop growth 75%. Harvest progress 100%. So have you actually taken the wheat and put it somewhere? Let's have a look what we've got on here. Charcoal, wheat. Next harvest, 45 in 116 days. Okay, so we're still letting that go. And we're up to May, crop growth. Yeah, so we're fine. We're fine. Okay, let's just check over here whether some of these new families have moved in. People, smelter. Uh, smelter. So when you say smelter, you mean... Now, I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> because uh, let's have a look over here. You're unassigned. Okay, so which was the last one left? And we can click on their house. That's them. Okay. Calls it smelter. Whoa, but it means bloomery. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Oh, Conrad is praying. Uh, even though there's nobody, there's no vicars or priests or anything in there. Uh, but they're unassigned. So we are going to assign them over here to the stone mine. Oh, hang on. Nope. Let's see who's in here first. Two other people. Yep. You've been unassigned. You're fired. You're out. Uh, but we're going to take you, and we are going to assign you to over here in the stone mine. Excellent. So now everybody nearby has a nearby job, which is what we want to see. These we're not all too concerned about. And we have a spare family. Oh, we did put a family in. I'm a complete... I tell, my brain, I tell you what. Lack of sleep. Lack of sleep last night. That's what it is. So Friedlin, Earhart, and Ellis... Uh, grave digger. Well, there you go. That's a job, isn't it? Um, and then where do they live? They live right here. Next door, in amongst the people. That's what you want to see, isn't it? So we've got 12, 14 families. We've got feud, feud, fuel for eight months, feud for 24 months, which is good. We've got 81 coins. Right. You know what that means? Back over to the trading post. Trade for tools, 72. Bosh. That is done. So how many tools do we want to keep in? Well, with the amount of people that we've got and the amount of tools they're going to use, I mean, I'm saying... Okay, let's try that again. I think we need to say yes to the trade. Uh, export. I'm going to say... I, mean, I don't know how many people that is. It's 14 families. Oh, 42 people. There we go. Of course, it says there. So if we keep... And if we kept 42 in stock, so that'll keep us over 50 left. So that's 100, 200, 300 odd gold coins. Suddenly, we're raking in the gold coins. So I think that is what we're going to do. Are you heading into town? Because we've had this before. You're literally, you've appeared in the Stonecutter's camp. <laughs> and you're heading into town. Well, let's follow you and see if you do some trade with us. Speed up! If we go too fast, you can't zoom in. I want to go here. And I want to zoom in, but you're not letting me. Oh, look, It's like Robin Hood, isn't it, this guy? Here he comes to save the day. Trading with everybody. Oh, yeah, he is. He's heading into town. He's coming around the corner. He's heading to our trading post. He's going to go up this road to the right, to the left. There we go. We're in the trading. Oh, 300. Please don't drive through the side of the building. 300. Oh, my giddy aunt. Wow. 
Okay, so a couple of things I want to check is the level of the houses. All we need now is a clothing stall and we can get these up to the second level. The requirement's not met. Generate one regional wealth per family per month. So we'll just get them up to level two and we're getting money anyway. Um, yeah, okay. So it's just clothing that we need. But what I wanted to do was see if any of these could actually have... Yeah, a little spot added on. Yep, chicken coop for you. Fantastic. What have you got in the back here? You've got like a broken down little... Who's this? I don't know who you are. Let's have a look. Can you tell me who you are? Girl horse again. She gets everywhere. You are going to have uh, a goat shed. There we go. You've got carrots, although I'm not entirely sure whether they've ever grown yet and made us any money. And then I think these ones over here. Yeah. Are we going to add any in here? We haven't got an orchardry yet. Baker extension. I think these are for when you level up. Goose bread, plot too low. Yeah, burgage, bur burgage plot too low. That's spelt wrong. Yeah, these are like little buildings, like mixed-use buildings you can change to. So we'll just do those ones and see how that goes. Who's complaining over here? So who's this? The Stonecutter Camp, again, has got absolutely tons in. You're saying you haven't got enough room, but you're storing more than you could ever store. And is there another one? I don't think there is. I think that's it. Oh, man, fantastic. We have got through the winter. We have learnt how to set up our people working nice and close so they don't have to travel so far. We've got crops growing like mad. Yield 41 in 107 days. I'm wondering whether I should just harvest that now, you know. I'm going to force an early harvest and just get that done. So then we're on track for a proper planting and then harvesting for the second year because that's the hardest thing. There we go. That is fantastic. So there's your tips on how to survive a winter. And episode one was how to survive your first year. If you'd like to learn more, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on more Manor Lords coming your way, plus all the other cool content. City Skylines 1, 2, auction lot included. Yeah, fantastic. Loads of stuff. Thank you for your support. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.